Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 40. All right, the previous episode, uh, it was broken up into two parts. The first part was uh, Marco versus Luckist, where we actually get quite a lot of information, which changes a lot of things. Uh, the biggest one was that uh, Jun is actually a normal, a normal kid who Luckist uh, brought in to like you know like challenge um uh, how uh, because uh john was someone uh, 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 like you know a person who had like you know heightened uh, mana i think like you know, some heightened abilities that's why she brought her in but then like you know due to her or his own circumstances he ended up betraying them and like you know changing team so like she's she's a normal kid that's like one of the biggest thing that we get to know in that episode the uh, and john already kind of knew that from the beginning that's number one number two is um their uh angels which we have been seeing are something which um <clears throat> whose actual identity was a car dealership uh sukumogami um like luckist and um marco both both their uh spirit uh, you know spirit uh, spirit ally they were actually cars that they had supercars they had and uh like you know because obviously because of sukumogami they they became like you know they took like um the like you know an identity and had like a spirit and a soul so that's like another big revelation in the previous episode these two revelations were huge and uh, you know by the end of it we see like you know like they like fought and everything and um uh L Lyserk and uh yo uh, ended up tricking a uh, luckist and he let his guard down and we got him by the end so yeah that was that and then like you know obviously marco and john like you know said that you know what all right if you want to participate in the shaman fight go ahead and uh, yeah so that was that and then the next part of the uh, episode we had uh, we saw uh, Ren's team going into the fight and we face our first opponents uh, Vidya Raja team of the Gandharas and they're strong they're immensely strong like one of the, the characters one of one of the teammates just showed his power and it was mana cancellation and it's in it's immense and i don't know how ren is going to like you know counteract this but let's see this episode let's see how he fights and what happens and uh, we we don't even know the other team the, the other two teammates of uh, you know vidya raja their power we don't even know it will, it will, i'm sure it's, it'll be something broken like mana cancellation so yeah anyways um let's get started this is episode number 40 of shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever the preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> this is manta hmm Depressing. Nah, unfortunately not. <laughs> well, <clears throat> and I can see that I was just talking in the previous episode, I was just saying that, like like so many things are happening how are they going to end this in 52 episodes i feel like now i can kind of see the ending coming you know like this is like the final matches that are happening and we i'm sure like within five or six episodes we will probably face how and i don't know i feel like they're still immensely weak so i don't know how and what is going to happen in these couple of episodes that brings yo you know like to a power level where he can actually fight against how i don't know what's going to happen but yeah let's see <clears throat> uh 
Yeah, but they did come up with a plan. Like they said that uh, how obviously is going to become the Shaman King, but they're going to strike during the time when he's going to be like in, uh, you know, like life and death situation. That that scene, like uh, time when he will be combining. That's when they're going to strike. So I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> Humility. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Marco. Yep. Yes. Four types, okay. Tathagata, Bodhisattva, Wisdom Kings, Deva. Ah. Oh. Wisdom Kings. Allowed to use force. Okay. <clears throat> Fifty five thousand. Yeah. Ooh, it's like. Okay, damn. This is like the destruction of life. <laughs> Speed bump. Oh, oh boy. Damn. Elbow barrage. Wait, who are these? Wait, who are these people? <sighs> okay, he's still holding. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Damn. Yeah, but mana cancellation. What? Striking air. Oh. Okay. Damn, he's like shaking. Intentional users ever. Oh. We're neutral, yeah. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Happy. Well, one thing is cor one thing is correct. I'm talking about. Um. Like, since they're neutral. You know, I'm talking about the Gandharas. I have to say the urge to win is more in Ren. Wait, what? 
Wait, what happened? It broke? Wait, how? What? Oh, wait. I have to end Damn What? Oh my god Wait that easy? Bushin you too <laughs> He's like, ah, look at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Pascalaba. Abasan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. This <laughs> oh, oh boy. Okay. Combination. Okay. <coughs> oh, wait, became okay. What the? Damn. <laughs> yeah. Fudo. What? Oh, okay, that. Oh, that's what he's talking about. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah, Anna's going to kill me. <laughs> Anna's going to kill me if I somehow lose. <laughs> yup, I knew that's why. <laughs> I knew that's why he was running. Oh my god. All right. Yep, time to switch out. Oh no, what the? Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Damn. Just uh, attacked him when, while his back was turned. Yeah, I guess everything's like fair in war, I guess. Hmm. 
<laughs> Abah Sensei. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Mental attack, okay. <laughs> I doubt that. This is Ren we are talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. No. <clears throat> well. Oh wait, he he's coming in. What happened? What? Damn, what? Eisen. What the? What happened? What? Is that his? Wait, what? Okay. What happened to him? What? Okay. No. Okay. Hot blooded outside. What? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Wow. 
What left husband? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this guy's pretty entertained. God given. My God. He's just a, wait. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, these people. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, why is she here? What? Neither good nor evil. Five. What? What? Usui Horokyu? Oh, is that his like. Because he's an Ainu, that's why. That's why she he's so much like Ainus are very much um We'll have new oversouls too after today. Usui Horokyu. Okay. Yeah, Horky. This is born in the union and the goddess. Yeah. It will uh... Oh. Uhui means fire in Ainu, but it's Usui. Okay, oh. Okay, 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 makes sense. This one. <laughs> Considerably. Star Festival. I don't know what that is, but... Yeah, kind of. Yeah. What do you call neutralization? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Exactly, that's what I was saying, you know? Yeah, I was just saying that, like, they're neutral, that's like their biggest weakness. Huh. 
<laughs> well, I, I doubt he even realized that himself. Oh, maybe not. Uh, okay, Hanagumi and versus who? Oh, this is new open, uh, new ending. Okay. Oh, that's the the tree of uh, I forgot um, the tree of life. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the the Kabbalah or something. I don't remember the actual name. Wow, this is a nice old ending. All the endings are really nice in Shaman King. Oh, whoa, what was that? Okay, that was the end. Alright, that's the end. Oh boy, okay, this episode here. Oh! Another surprise, Horohoro was not as weak as we thought he was. <laughs> That's the surprise here. Um, okay, so this episode here, we, we resume our battle against the Gandharas. Now, this is what I was just talking about in the beginning, you know. Like, uh, we know Gandharas are neutral. And I think that was like the biggest, uh, what can I say, biggest setback that they could have gotten. Because being neutral and being someone who has like a particular goal like you know there's like a huge difference between those two and uh like you know having like a conviction having a goal or something like that is uh like you know comes in handy a lot of times uh, especially during these situations where you just have to do something like if someone is like you know doesn't have any particular goal and they're just like neutral the way they are going to react to a certain situation comparing it to someone else who has like a goal that he has to attain at any cost it differs both of them differs and that's where the um actual difference comes uh so <clears throat> that's why i said like you know like they're strong like you know being neutral kind of gives them a lot of power a lot of like you know different strengths and everything but at the same time it is also i feel like it is also something that is going to uh not come in handy while at the same time rent team you know because they have like a particular goal that will that is going to be something that could change the game as time goes on so yeah the gandharas are okay they're strong definitely they're strong but their lack of proper i i don't think it, i think it's a little like you know uh, wrong to say that they have a lack of goal they have a goal they have a goal they have the her their goal is like i think keeping everything uh like you know keeping the balance i think that's their goal you know, keeping the balance um like it would be wrong to say they don't have a goal but they they're neutral and you know like uh that's like something i guess i don't know this is just how i see this situation <clears throat> but yeah anyways um okay here we get uh into the match where we see the different uh spirits of the different characters all the different characters all the three characters we saw all of their powers here uh, uh the first guy uh, he had a mana nullification <clears throat> now um i feel like the second guy we didn't even get to see his proper power that properly i think yeah, I think so. Like, we just, like, we just, 
Like the, the the last guy, the guy with the mustache, we also saw his power properly. You know, he, he like he said something like love arrows or something. I'm not sure what that was, but he was like you know shooting arrows. Um, that's like his power. Uh, the 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 middle guy, the the guy who came in the like you know uh, the, the red haired one. Uh, his his spirit. We just saw him attack his ally, and then we saw him fight a little bit. So I think that was just it. Nothing more than that we saw. Like Ren already like you know kind of attacked him and um yeah anyways um okay uh, so here <clears throat> uh now quite a few things are happening here. Uh number 1 uh first of all Ren wins the first you know the, uh, match not match but uh the first part of the match. Uh, where he uses his newfound strength uh, which is like you know he detached his oversoul and he attacked um, you know like uh, the guy and we did see a, a little flashback where we saw Pas Pas uh, what was his name Pascal Abba Abba no or no I think it was something like that I'm, I'm like his his name is a little bit difficult for me to remember yeah, I think it was Pascal Abua, something like that. Yeah, um, we saw a little flash, not flashback, but a little recollection where they were like, you know, kind of um, going to different uh, ways to train. And, you know, like since he he's like the veteran shaman <laughs> and you know he has a lot of uh, ideas, a lot of ways, a lot of good advice for them. And um, <clears throat> yeah, like he, he gave them a lot of pointers and uh, like we kind of saw him actually like you know from the beginning he was saying uh <laughs> that oh horror, horror, you're the weakest uh but i'm sure like you know he he knew that he at his current state is weakest but not if he actually brings out his inner self which we saw in the end and i'm sure he knew that and he i, I guess he was just like you know, kind of like a little bit uh, what can i say kind of trying to rile him up or something i don't know <laughs> but i'm sure he knew he i'm sure he knew that you know like horo horo had this type of, of like a hidden thing within himself you know like uh eyes so cool that it is it is you know like it, it is hot something like that so <clears throat> okay anyways um so yeah we get, get to see that and we see ren actually defeating uh, not defeating but you know like uh give like you know giving considerable damage to the first guy um i don't remember his name but um the guy with mana nullification um so <clears throat> then the other guy the red-haired guy he comes up and just whacks him his own teammate away now i don't know if that's how <laughs> <laughs> you know one of the gandharas are supposed to act because you know like they're um supposed to be um you know like non-violent very calm peace loving something like that i don't know if, if that guy is <laughs> you know if that guy is uh what can i say like he just he just like you know came in and just whacked his teammate out of the ring like i don't know if, if that's how gandharas <laughs> should act but you know like different people have their different ways of doing stuff and i guess he was a little bit hot-blooded you know like a little bit and uh, uh, the other guy also suddenly jumps uh, in and uh like oh, like the, the thing here um chocolate got defeated not defeated as per se but he like you know like he just like you know like it, it seemed as if he got defeated because by, by the end of he just like you know like he just came back up <laughs> he was like oh I, I was just like you know kind of acting a little bit and <laughs> but yeah he he did like you know got get a, a sudden like you know huge amount of damage and even the red-haired guy he he also when when ren said that okay i'm going back a little bit you know to kind of like you know rest a little bit he just attacked him <laughs> And I would say that that's pretty fair, you know, because this is like a match that is happening. Like that is allowed. Like you know, this is not a duel or not a like you know something like that. It's it's not something like that. It's not out of the rules to attack someone while their backs are turned. Mm, so yeah, this is this is like a fight, you know, a genuine fight. So I guess that was 
um, you can say like Ren's, <laughs> you know, a, a, like you know Ren's uh, mistake in a way because um, I don't know what he thought. I I doubt he 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 real he th thought that he would suddenly attack from his behind. I doubt that. No, he um, I'm sure that took him by surprise as well. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Anyways, so yeah. Um, and then what happens here is Horhoro kind of snaps. Now, here's the thing. Um, uh, Yo was talking about this, uh, you know, with his teammates. He was saying that we don't know anything about Horohoro, why he wants, like, you know, uh, like, you know, we, we, we do know what he wants. He wants to make a butter bear, uh, you know, like a field. That's like his dream. But he says that we don't know why he wants to do that. Now, I don't know. I always, like, you know, thought that he, he wanted to do that because he's an Ainu. You know, like, I already had, like, you know, that explanation in my head. Like, I did not think, like, I, I didn't even think before that he might have some other reason behind it. Like, now that I think about it, like, I, I thought that, you know what, because he's an Ainu, and Ainus are very, you know, respectable towards nature, you know, like, they, they uh, worship each and everything, all the forces of nature, they worship them. Uh, like, you know, like, uh, so, like, you know, for them, nature is, like, something that is, like, you know, uh, similar to God. That's, like, you know, like, that's, that's like, uh, the, their culture. So that's why I always thought and I always like, you know, decided that, yeah, he, his reasoning behind, uh, like, you know, getting a, a field is that because he's an I, you know, he respects nature. He doesn't want to see like, you know, the modern stuff just destroying nature. He doesn't want that. That's why that's like his dream. And that's like his reason. Now that I think about it again, like that thing, and even Horohoro kind of confirmed that by the end, he says that not now, I'll tell you guys later what my actual reason is. So that does mean that he has some other reason, something different than what I thought. I thought it was genuine, like, you know, like, uh, uh, what can I say? Like he, since he's an Ainu, his respect for uh, nature was something that made him like you know have this dream but maybe maybe that is also that is a part of it you know maybe that's the part of his dream maybe there's something more even more within it which i don't know maybe we'll get to know in the future i'm sure they'll tell us and this this episode kind of showed us that Horohoro has all the time been su suppressing his like this this thing that is within him which is kind of a surprise i did not think about it uh like, like opacho himself herself was scared like she was like oh opacho sees a wolf horror horror scary and so uh, yeah like and um his name um what was what was his name i forgot usui horokyu okay there you go that's horror horror's real name um what horokyu means wolf there you go yeah, uh, legends say that his ancestors were born from a union of goddess and a wolf. Oh. Okay. And of course that subspecies of the wolf, the Hokkaido wolf, is now extinct. Yeah. Words are imbued with power. A spirit with a name will eventually take form. Okay. Um, just like the oversouls we create through visualization. Um, okay, interesting. Uhui means fire, okay, in Ainu. But it's written as Usui, which is the kanji for eyes. Okay, Uhui or Usui. Fire from eyes, that's him, alright. He's too strong, he'd never bre <laughs> break. Of course, others are already trying to make you so, okay, there you go. <clears throat> so yeah, that's like the name, uh, meaning of her, of his name and everything. And uh, from like, you know, the, 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 the conversations and everything, it seems like he had, he knew that he had this thing in him and he kind of like, you know, suppressed it. And like it does make sense, you know, because we did see his dad before. His dad had some very less furyoku, but the way he used it and like you know, like 
his his strength was in, intense and um it does like you know like make sense now that we see Horo Horo also probably has a little secret within him uh you know not a secret uh, like you know but it's like some kind of like a hidden power or something and uh, yeah now uh, another thing that happened in this episode is we saw sati you know like she she was talking about like she said that okay i finally found them neither good nor evil they are children without bias now here's one thing that kind of um confuses me why is she saying that they they are neutral like she's basically saying that they're neutral like you know no wait just a sec um i finally found them neither good nor evil they're children without bias neither good nor evil oh no no okay okay i understand i understand she's talking about them she's not talking about okay okay now nah, she's not saying that they're neutral that's not what she's saying she's saying that these children are uh like you know neither good nor evil that's what she's saying okay makes sense yeah yeah it's it's, it's different i i guess you know like she's saying that their like you know their, their uh, like thing their morality or whatever is neutral not that they are neutral their their morality is neutral that's what she's saying there's a difference i think i guess you know like them being neutral would mean that they wouldn't do anything like you know good nor evil that that's what it means but that's not what they are their morality is neutral that they themselves are neither good nor evil i think that's what sati meant yeah okay i think that's what she meant okay they are children without bias okay and um i can't build a new world but they can i must guide the five warriors okay here's another thing she says five warriors all right let me count um horo horo uh ren chocolate um yo i'm also like you know taking him into consideration and lyserk is, is that the five kids he's talk she's talking about because i wouldn't put um you know ryu or um faust within five kids like she she she, she says five kids doesn't she um oh god yeah they, okay there you go they are children without bias there you go children so i wouldn't actually put fox or you within that group because they're not children so yeah there you go five of them horo horo chocolate uh, ren uh, yo and lyserk that's that's what i understand i think i might be wrong though but yeah okay and then she says Usui Horokyo, he's the last of them. Okay, last of the kids that she's. That, okay, so uh, this kind of shows us that uh, Sati's uh, goal is also something that we probably don't realize properly. She wants, uh, like, you know, she wants people who are, like, you know, like, who, do, who are not good, neither good nor evil. And she wants to, uh, like, you know, kind of give the, what do you call it? Um. I don't know like she she wants them to uh, be responsible for the future of the world i think that's what she wants and uh, yeah like it's interesting like you know like shaman king i i've seen this from the like you know beginning like shaman king has this thing with neutrality like a lot of things like you know people kind of focus on being neutral for example the patch officiants they're all neutral from the beginning they're like yeah like if bad people gets the shaman king becomes a shaman king like you know yeah that's what you know like fate has for us then nothing we can do about it and nothing we will do about it we are neutral we're just going to give them an opportunity whoever wins will win be it a bad person or a good person and whatever that person will do with that power that's on them we are here just to give them an opportunity that's like the patch officiants and like you know this thing and, and here again gandhara themselves are completely neutral and you know all these things and so like this is like this huge uh, focus on neutrality in shaman king we, we've been seeing this and uh, yeah anyways uh, okay so <clears throat> that was that 
and uh, yo faust and ryu were talking about like you know within themselves and yo was saying something about okay let's like you know get let's get some more powerful oversource or something she <laughs> he was saying stuff like that so i don't know probably they'll start some high like you know strong training regimen or something and i was kind of prepared to <laughs> kind of prepared to just you know like give like you know train them but yo kind of ran away before that <laughs> i love the, the, that part where yo was just sitting and Ro yo was like wait a minute i feel like these people got stronger didn't they am i is my, is my eyes like you know playing tricks on me or are they stronger um and he's like oh my god that's bad you know what let's get out of here quickly and just you know like get ready and do some training like he <laughs> yo knew what's coming yo knew that anna's pissed off he just he just took that opportunity and just ran off at that moment because he knew anna's going to grab him <laughs> oh my god uh, uh, yes okay anyways um <laughs> All right, that was that. Is there anything else? Oh, okay. And then, then the new match starts after this. Uh, Hana, uh, Team Hana, and uh, I don't know who. Wait, did they mention Magical Princess? Who, who are the Magical Princess? I don't know. Now, magical Princess versus there's something written in Japanese, which I'm thinking it's called it's Hanagumi. It's written. Okay, anyway, so we're going to see a match in the next episode as well, and we'll see how strong Hanagumi became after that. You know, they were pretty strong, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, uh, a few other things we kind of like, you know, like that I like, you know, we saw in this episode is like Tao, uh, uh, no, uh, what's her name? What's her sister's name? Okay, no, no, first of all, the bows are here. They gave uh, Sati some information and it does make sense, you know, Bose being like, you know, involved with uh, the Gandharas because I feel like, you know, like that's like very um, appropriate, you know, it's like the Bose, like they're, they're monks and they are <clears throat> you know, with the Gandharas. And they say that you saved our lives. So I guess like, you know, Sati helped them out. Okay, June is also here. Like, Okay, I don't understand this part. Why is June here? Um, she says that I'm here for the Tao family and for my brother Ren. This is the best deal we can hope to get. Okay, um, I feel like, uh, uh, you know, like they, they're talking about how, like Sati, and after that Sati says that I finally found them, you know. So, uh, like, you know, is, is June over here because he wants uh sati to take them in or something you know like uh, train them or something is that what's happening probably because sati does start talking up says start saying after that that yeah i finally found them you know the five the five uh, like you know the kids the five kids the five children who are neither uh, you know like good nor bad and then he she starts talking about how like you know she wants to kind of uh, you know like and trust everything to them something like that she says so i think it is something like that i think that's why june was june is here most probably so yeah and that was it and i feel like how is going to now start you know like he was talking about he was kind of like you know uh, asking uh luckiest about yo and everything he was like is he stronger now? Like it's just like yeah, considerably, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, everything's starting, and uh, everything like you know is starting to move now. So we'll see what happens after this. Mm, all right, and I think that was it. I'm really looking forward to uh, Sati's match. I think she's she's going to fight, shouldn't she? I think so is going to participate in the match i'm really looking forward to her power because she seems insane she seems like obviously her her power is something similar to jan like you know like the power level like she jan and how they're like the strongest as far as i know 
So yeah, I'm I'm quite looking forward to her match. But anyways, that was it. That was my reaction to Shaman King episode number 40. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Shaman King. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.